through trust. Oh yeah, get the people's thoughts. Our own people are getting mm, stopped, huh? Right. Okay, Hitch. Looking like Angelina Jolie. Right. Uh, yeah. Think about it. Uh, Things gonna happen. <laughs> Give your hearts Ooh. to Aaron Yeager. Ooh. Oh, they lit. <laughs> Long live Aaron. Even now, it ain't safe on Paradise. With your own phone. Right. Oh, oh, Annie walking around. Oh. Oh, God. That's scary. Yeah. She gonna be in the kitchen eating something. Like she just hopped out the shower. <laughs> but a wet feet from the, uh, what you call it? The unthawing. Just walking through... Bucket naked. Morning. Oh, thanks. You already got clothes on. It's dark in here. You playing with your life, Hitch? Mm. Come here. Mm. I will kill you. Ugh. She means that. She means every bit of that. And it would be so effortless. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Stop oh, playing with me. Oh, oh you're you. rusty, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Dang. You're under arrest. No <laughs> way. No way. Aaron will beat up Annie now. Aaron's become a way better fighter now. And Annie's got all this sauce. She got skill, bro. She got real she does. martial arts skill. Like She could tighten up. Ah. Uh. Okay. Mm, Cause she is hurt. Dang. Oh, oh, I will go there. She's super weak right now. Say you're all right. Yeah, she's. She ain't got no nutrients. Right. Rumbling, it's coming. I rumbling, don't like it. Rumbling, big way. Hey, will she still beat up Aaron in this state? <laughs> Give her a few meals in between. Let her grow up a little yeah. bit. Dang. Dang. They ruined the legend of Annie that for you, didn't they? That was terrible. <laughs> Sickening. I'm oh, so salty. It's just straight judo tossed a girl, man. I know it's burning you up. Judo tossed a girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't call oh, her weak. Not by a uh, hitch, bro. Let her get a couple of meals in. <laughs> it's Levi, Mikasa, and then Annie. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much. Like Right, get the hell on, please. Mmm, she can hear uh. everything. Huh. Including the convos with Armin. Yeah, I was your therapist, unfortunately. You feel that earthquake? She ain't looked outside yet. There you go. Mm, right. Uh, right, is this what you wanted? Right. Mm. That Marley doctrine. Mm. They wanted the founding for themselves. 
Right. Molly would have done the rumbling. Just out there going with the flow. Mm. Oh, she was adopted by Mr. Lionheart. <laughs> I need you Houston. to get real strong, little girl. Right. Get me up out of here. To give himself a better life, not right. them. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, he was a trash dad. <clears throat> oh, dang. Pops was a scumbag. My turn! And I started beating, beating that nigga up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop him out, baby girl. Get your licks in. Yeah. Facts. Ugh. Oh, couldn't walk straight mm. again. You did it. Thank you. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. Kill even without a weapon. Dang. He was happy she beat him down like that. All right. Listen to me for 20 minutes. Shut up. All right. She crippled that man, though. <laughs> she did. And he wanted that. Yeah. I wonder if she cares now, though. Oh. Mm. Was repenting. Oh, wow. She looks so cold right there. She was already a savage. Yeah. Oh, I need a daughter. Nice. Oh, for Pops. Crazy. They turned that around. She got to stop Aaron then. I'd kill again. Oh, no regrets. Right. Saw the father with his daughter. Lord. Oh, that's Aunt Karina, isn't it? Mm. Trying to tell y'all. Right, they didn't have the daydream. Exactly. Oh, right. It sounds shady. Call somebody. Right, hit the zones up. All right. Uh-oh. Come on, man. He can't die to him. That's the dad right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Mr. Leonhart. He's about to he get shot. He didn't make it. Oh. He didn't make it, bro. She what if he beat up everybody? He out. had hands. Even though he was crippled. Instead of being led by flock. Mm. Talking about Pixis. Dang. Right. Mm. Judging by past experiences. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can still do it, bro. <laughs> Cause y'all could have got it. <laughs> he might have had it too. <clears throat> right. Man, they better not kill Just Keith. Just there for a little while. That sounded like a farewell. Mm. Right. That's his mother. Hmm. To protect Falco. Oh, going all out to have Gabby on the team. Mm. Uh. With that type of energy, y'all gonna be scrapping. What you say about my mama? What are we doing, Mikasa? Mm. 
<laughs> Figure out my yourself, dog stressing. <laughs> he frustrated. Stop asking me all these questions, man. <laughs> Mm. We got our own problems. There's a lot happening. Yeah, he would have been out there thugging, riding Aaron's back or something. If I was. Uh, Dang. Oh, that's tough. Everybody's going through it, man. This is heavy. <laughs> right, you me and my eyes. <laughs> sister, sister. Beautiful. Oh, that was wholesome. Oh, and then. Flocker. <laughs> <laughs> God. Be careful. Ooh. Kept it all the way real? Dang. He recruited. He's dead. About to die now. Murder. <clears throat> Kill. Murder. Fire, 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 fire. Ooh, hoo, hoo, flocker. As you can see, gotta live in submission. Uh, Say something, Yelena. I'll handle these. Uh, Wipe it out. The resentment. You better not put the tool to John. Because uh, we've been fighting a long time. Mm, Aaron did this for you, did. bro. The Aaron pitch. One of the heroes, oh, gee. bro. It sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good old horse face. Oh. Mm. Ayanka Pong didn't like him being so comfortable there. Stop the cap. He lied to him. Right. He can feel his vibes too. Uh huh. Oh, it's true. Uh. Yeah, do your thing. He's a smart kid. Yep. Oh. Ooh, he might have had a vision. Oh, he might have been in them pathways. All right, sayonara. He's still alive, Magath. Oh, what? Oh, there she is. Meeting. Hanji. Oh, my God. Please. Yeah. Can't kill him. Yeah. Dang. Oh. He don't die easy. 
Dang, he looked bad though. Yeah, man, she got him wrapped up good though. That's got the good. Usopp That's treatment process. Yeah, got the Usopp treatment. Had his eye wrapped up and everything. He might have lost the eye. Oh yeah, I think he had shrapnel and stuff in his eye. It was bad. Dang, this episode was dope. Just a yeah, lot of story. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of things are happening. A lot happened. Listen, we're gonna start off with what happened. Your girl Annie got tossed by a Hitch. Talk about she gonna transform. Oh, you ain't doing nothing right now. Not like this. We understand the situation though. She's a little weak from being in an ice. <laughs> she was on ice <laughs> for four say. years with no food. No nutrients, yeah. no water. Listen, I, I'm gonna give Annie a pass on this one. Please, it's just the fact that she crept up on her like a killer. Uh, B, you move. I promise I'll cut your throat. Dude, shut up. Mm. Shut, the, <laughs> shut the front door. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that she came with that energy and then got tossed around like a novice by Hitch. Yeah, they tricked us on that because I'm thinking, oh, Hitch, you in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Hitches, you're about to die, baby. Be careful oh. about that little ring she got on her finger. She could slice your throat with it. She just might. <laughs> right, that's all it takes. It was, A quick it swipe nice. of the hand. It's like, they know Annie must have some stands. I'm a stand. Can't Annie's help. that chick, bro. I love Annie. I Listen, help. I love Annie. Don't get it twisted. Just because I said Aaron would beat her up doesn't mean that Annie ain't one of my favorite characters in the show. Ever since she transformed in season one, that was Annie's season. Season one was all it Annie. Was, it was. Annie was abandoned by her parents when she was a baby. And Mr. Leonhart stumbled upon her, tried to make her tough to become a warrior so that he could have a better life. He had a selfish ambition when training her up at the time. So Annie got to the point where she was strong enough to beat the hell out of her father. Stomped on him, crippled him, said he ain't never gonna walk straight again. And he was crying yep. tears of joy. Right. Probably sadness too, because I'm sure he didn't want to have to do this. Obviously, it ate him up, and he ain't even want her to hit the road after that. I don't even care right. if you serve now, just come back. I don't care about a better life for myself. Who knows how long that was already weighing on him while he was training her like a savage. It probably didn't hit him until he was crippled. Like, dang, I need help around this house and my daughter wants to be a warrior. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I got selfish again. The bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That can't be the case. Right until that day, so I heard you getting up out that bed, man. I really wish I had a hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need a hand around the house now. You right? <laughs> you made it selfish again. <laughs> it went from wholesome to selfish again. Oh, you would yeah. say that. Just a tough dad. In the end of the day, he didn't realize that all that fighting was bonding. Nah, yeah. I was thinking maybe it was understanding the psychological trauma. He pulled a Grisha, you know what I'm saying? And was able to communicate that before she really went into the forest. Just come back, man. I don't even care no more. I messed up. But yeah, now Annie wants to get back to her father. So that's what she's fighting for now, to get back home. Annie could hear Hitch and Armin talking to her. It sounded like they were real far away. That's crazy that she could hear everything that whole time. Right. Ain't no telling with Armin. He was probably in there beating off at times. <laughs> uh, right. I, don't know if he could, I don't know if she could see, but she could definitely hear. <laughs> I don't need to cook Armin. Listen, it's been a rough life. He's already dealing with guilt and stuff of wondering if he was the right one to be selected back then. Because he really had a mental breakdown for a minute. Like, he's thinking about everything and everybody. And oh, this yeah. This is something that he's always been able to do. But when it's all bad, <laughs> you can see it on him. It's bad. It's bad everywhere. Because not only do you have to worry about your best friend destroying the world, you also have to worry about the turmoil happening within the walls now. Within Paradise, on the island. Yeah, now you got... I might put a bullet in my head. If Armin has energy like he's trying to stop Aaron, we're definitely going to have to fight Flocka and them. If our energy goes towards stopping Aaron and the rumbling, which is going to be tough for Armin and the other Titans, if Aaron can control the shifters to obey the founding, it's going to be tough to even fight back with the Titan. So at that point, the only people you can really rely on is Mikasa and Gabby. Ackermans can't be controlled by the founding. And that's the thing. Mikasa's having a mental shutdown right now. She don't know what she's supposed to be doing with her life. Right. And she ain't got no direction. Armin has nothing no. for her. He's about to right. go on a side mission. I'm just going to get right. Falco first. Let me handle what I can within the vicinity. I ain't even trying to talk about Aaron right now. The situation's bleak, Mikasa. There's things happening around me. I should have <laughs> never been saved. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad Think for, for yourself, Armin. Yourself, Mikasa. If Erwin yeah. let it spiral out of control like this, and this so is this the end result, yeah, then I don't think Erwin had a good solution either. The fact that Flock knew about the plan and the homies didn't, like he gave Period. Flock the whole lowdown. 
Flock was dealing Everything. with Elena as he needed to. He was an escort for Aaron to Yelena before he went to Marley. Flock mm -hmm. was instrumental in the whole go to Marley, extract Zeke operation. The mm -hmm. one, Flock knew about everything. Flock, he's applying the pressure to the volunteers. They just need to submit. If you don't, bah, bah, bah. Yelena ain't said a word. She hasn't said a peep. I mean, the betrayal. She ain't said nothing since Zeke's been out of commission. So she doesn't yeah. even care no more. We don't even get to see her face anymore. But uh, was sitting on a chair in the corner with a head. <laughs> in down. the shade, in the Sad. darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That's just on repeat. <laughs> His energy towards John and the OGs is, Aaron right. did this for us. Do you realize right. he's thugging like that for us? Think about it. We benefit from this. All the fighting yeah. we've done over the years, you can go right. back to being reckless, goofy, ugly as hell, all that fun stuff you used to do. The victory's yeah. ours. <laughs> and you can see the, the jubilation in his eyes. Yeah. And it got John too. John saw his face, his demeanor. Mm -hmm. And so it was real convincing to John. And then Yon Capone read his vibes and was like, see nigga, you too cool with my homeland being stomped out. You too cool with me about to be locked up now. The roles have changed now. We was mad at right. a Capone for locking us up just a minute ago. But now here he is about to get locked up. And John is with Flocka. Crunk. What do you yeah. want, bro? You right. I can get goofy again. I can be me again, bro. He saw a Yonka and felt guilty. Oh, I'm too crunk in front of him. Oh. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> it's really weighing on John. And a Yonka felt betrayed just now. He looked like he was ready to box somebody. And then a Yonka freed them. He feels guilty that because he freed them, they assisted in Aaron eventually getting over to Zeke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now Yon Capone dealing with that guilt. Falco might transform on Connie. He's trying to go back south. Falco's smart and he could read the energy Connie was given. We going on where Connie? I appreciate you and everything, but we really need to turn around though. This is Connie so... trying to take out uh Porco back in Morley. Oh, because Falco remembered him? He got Porco's uh Titan. He might have some of his memories, right? It could be the uh memories of Emir. Oh, Emir. Because Emir had the jaws yeah. beforehand, so and Maybe she's Falco. Plenty of time with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I think Falco might have tapped into the memories of Emir. That's how he was so comfortable with Connie. At the same or, time, he can also tell that he acting weird. He is stressed yeah. out. Yeah, not the Connie I grew up with. Scout He's reading his record. vibes. Yeah, you a little too serious right now. I know you a cornball, bro. What's good? It ain't like Falco's ready to transform right now. He still has some form of trust with Connie, but he knows he this is suspicious. Armin is trying to convince Connie to free Falco because he doesn't want to cut ties with Peek and Gabby. Even in Armin's eyes, Gabby is instrumental for Reiner right. too. Because if we're somehow going to fight back, we're going to need all hands on deck then. But like we pointed out, the Founding can control the wheels of the Titans. Then again, Aaron didn't control the Titans that were going wild in the walls against us. We had to put them down. Maybe uh, he don't have that much control over the shifters either. Yeah, maybe Ymir only gave him partial keys. I'm going to give you the keys to the rumbling, <laughs> but you can't touch this other stuff. You're going to have to rub my feet or something, fam. I don't... Uh, <laughs> she needs her feet rubbed. Be a man of your word. Put an end to this. What if Armin and Connie had to fight? We can't lose OGs, especially fighting each other, man. That's the thing, man. When you start introducing this power, and this distribution of power to people, it always causes a riff. Dang, so Annie's dad might have got shot right there. He might have already got killed before the rumbling. Right. Like, what were they expecting, though? Like, trying to push their way out the internment zone? They just going to risk getting shot on the way out the doors, you know? I didn't know what life was like for the Eldians after Aaron did what he did to the government. They still having to live in internment zones. I thought things might have been a little smoother for the Eldians in... Liberio, obviously not. They probably even apply the pressure even more. That's why we can't trust you, Eldians. Right, see what y'all do? See what kind of things happen around y'all? What Aaron need to do is send a little a little message saying, hey, y'all don't freak out. Stay exactly where you at. I know where the internment zones are. I can see y'all memories. He ain't provide them no assurances. He said he, he was did. doing this for his people on Paradis. I figured since he was talking to all Eldians, he was doing this for all Eldians. But no, he's only doing this for the island. To keep my people in the island safe, I'm stomping out the rest mm -hmm. of the world. Internment right. zones or not, that's why everybody jumped to the rightful conclusion. We're about to die. Thanks for telling us, bro. Yeah, Appreciate you. Thanks for the heads up. I guess Aaron didn't tell Armin and Mikasa because deep down he knows they're not that dark to want to commit mass genocide. He didn't mind right. telling Flocka because Flocka became a devil 
the day Irwin died. He realized, oh, that's what it takes to make plays. Aaron trusted Flocka with that type of information. Gotta respect Flocka's thuggery. He knew the whole time. Dang, it's just crazy that Flocka would know over Armin. But what's the play, bro? Do they go and fight Aaron? And when you go to fight Aaron, the Titans are going to be out of commission. Not unless he can't control their wheels as they perceive and fear. I mean, he's operating in the founding, committed the rumbling. But like we were saying, there might be a limit on what he can do. If he can't control the Titans the way he needs to, there's just no fighting against him. Right. That's I don't see I how you do it. It is what it is. We just sit back and wait. Everybody's come to the conclusion that they can't stop this. Yeah. But it doesn't hinder them from fighting back, though. They're still going to fight. But Maggith knows, man, there ain't nothing we can do, people. We ain't going to stop right. fighting to the end, though. I just like watching the story play out. Yeah. Regardless of who wins, you know... It is what it is. I'm just wanting to see the direction we go in. Yeah, it's very stressful. My heart's heavy for everything. A part of me was thinking about this whole Helos theory and what they were talking about in Marley, how a hero would emerge and save the people from the Great Titans. They had a statue of Helos, a hero that would save the world. They kind of referenced towards Helos already, I think, this season. And Aaron allowed a hero to shine to stop the rumbling, to show that Eldians aren't devils and so if that would allow freedom for Eldians due to a hero emerging to stop Aaron because in all actuality where do you go in the story if Aaron goes ahead and kills everybody something's got to stop Aaron I don't think they're gonna have a storyline where Aaron just kills the world so you saying they go Gabby could be the new Helios she's an Eldian what if Mikasa had to kill Aaron mm. but in doing so she would have the spotlight illuminating Sean at Eldians really ain't as bad as the world perceived. Look, here goes one of their own. That's why the Fountain always wanted to kill off the Ackermans because they were a threat. And here you got somebody like Amikasa comes through against somebody she loves and kills them before the world. And then it might give the Eldians around the world a better name or something or a better representation. Ain't no telling. Because they could be cold and... <laughs> we still need them Titans. Like, that ain't a guaranteed idea neither. It's either Aaron just destroys the world or a hero like Helios will emerge and save the world. And maybe that presents a better life for Eldians. I don't know. Hey, man. It's a possibility. Who knows? I mean, geez. It is a possibility. I just don't know what it's direction they're trying to go with this. Right. Because right now it's our guy, Aaron, committing mass genocide for his people. For this amount of people in Paradise, we got, I don't know, 100,000 people in Paradise compared to the other 6.7 billion around the world. It's yeah. bad. But it's bad to just kill them 100,000 people. Right. It's not good for genocide against the 100,000 on Paradise and continual slavery for the Eldians around the internment zones around the world. How can you choose a side? It's impossible to choose a side. I'm just watching right. it happen. Great episode. Looking forward to the next. Holla at your boys. We're out. Peace. the source of my name the difference between us is scale is so vividly obvious. While in the studio, I become Uber and then I start treating the beat like the mafia. You think the mayor's just holla jacatas, cause fire's proceeding from haters and sophagus. Me and my partners all represent Charlotte, the city that's North Carolina's metropolis. And we've been patiently waiting to display our greatness, showcasing our lyrical dominance. And it be